Welcome to Art from the Heart. And today we got a very, very good class. Now, if you guys remember last time, we traveled all the way to Japan to look at the Sakura blossom trees. And those were really pretty. But today, we're just going to go a bit up and to the, to the left. And I'm going to... And guess what? Guess where we are? We're in China. And that is a very, very cool place. I heard they have great food there. But one of the most important things is that they do something. And I was told that it's sort of like yoga. But it's not like yoga where you sit down and you just stay in place. Instead, what you do is sort of like... I guess you could say it's like a moving yoga. You constantly move your body. You basically, what they say is that you calm your inner chi or your core. And cool thing is that qigong is Chinese. And my father, the reason why I know about this is that my father does qigong. And he told me of how calming it is. It's, it is sort of like yoga or meditation, for example. It's sort of like a mixture of, I guess that you could say, like moving plus yoga plus um, meditation. It's a combination of the three. I heard that if you master Qigong, then you can use it as like a super fighting move. Like, pow! You can use your, your inner chi and just pew, push it out against someone. I saw someone break a sword in half due to their super strong chi. Now, I wish I could be powerful like that, but I'm just an artist. But today, what we're going to create is that, well, before we get to that, most Qigong pe people who do Qigong mostly do it by the rivers or they do it by the forests where you, they can hear the rush of the water, the wind blowing through the trees. But the most common one is that they will stay by the mountains. And think of it like this, okay? Here's the mountain. And me, I'm the sun. So the sun just peeks above the mountain showing this beautiful bright orange like glow. Like, and it's super pretty. You know, they say that the sun is the earth's core. And what we're going to do today is that we're going to create a mountain scape inspired by Chico. So let's get started on that. Now, here's a great thing, guys. I am so excited. You know, usually what I would have to do, I would have to walk around and then like maybe like show you my book. Then I have to walk all the way back and put my book down. But now we have a new camera angle. So yet you can see not just me, but you can also see the book. Now I'm just going to quickly get to that. And I'm just going to quickly go over here. Oh, look, here's my book. And Guess what? Hey, look at me. I'm in the corner. Hello. <laughs> so, let's get started on our Qigong Mountains. And I bet you're wondering, over here, why is my hand blue? You know, painting happens. Mistakes happen. You get paint all over you. You try washing it off. And there's still this just like this light color just showing up. Sometimes being an artist is too messy, but we should get started. So I'm going to grab my palette knife. Oh my goodness, what a shocker. I love my palette knife so much. And what you're basically going to do is that you're going to create first the core of the body or the core, which is the sun. So with, with most Chinese styles or more Asian styles of art, the sun is drawn in a circle, yellow circle. And you're like, what, a yellow circle? But not just that, it, it kind of like pops out. And basically what we're going to do is that we're gonna create that sun. So I'm gonna start with the center. I'm gonna work off of it. Turn, turn. And I want that bright yellow. You see how bright that is? Super pretty. I got it like that, pretty good. Doesn't have to be straight. 
And now what I want to do is I want to add this orange. Now I don't want to go too much into the into the yellow, but I want to go into enough so that the orange and the yellow blend. So I'm going to do a layer going around. Now that looks pretty weird. Definitely not done. Now we're just going to gently grab it. We're gently just going to rub it gently so that it kind of somewhat blends. So now I have that orange yellowy center. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to grab some tissues because we're going to need them later. Well, basically what we're going to do is that we're going to create that mountain scape. Now, we don't want to, with, with the mountain, the mountain is supposed to represent your body, me. And the sun is the core. So the mountain, and then behind the mountain is your core. So me, and then on the inside is my core. So now we're going to start on that. Now you can draw an outline. That's perfectly fine. But what, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use my pound knife. I'm going to go with the flow. Now I'm going to grab some black on the tip. And I'm basically just going to find maybe right here. And I want to fully load my brush. Or, or fully load my palette knife. Brush, palette knife, pencil crayons, inks, anything you have. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep loading. And I'm just going to add that tip. I'm gently just going to pull it. But I don't want to curve it. I don't want to curve it. So I'm just gently going to pull it to the side. And I have too little. So I just add a tiny bit more. Just like that. Pretty cool. Now, it's not done. Now, I have to switch sideways so it's vertical. Not like this, like this. I'm going to grab some black on the end. And basically what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add that center. Now, we can leave it just like a line. That'd be really weird. So we're just going to thicken it on the end just a bit. Add that texture. But now, what we're going to do is that we're going to fully load the brush again. And now we're just going to go, we're just going to basically, sort of like blotting, but instead we're just going to blot with paint. And we're just going to, just to add that texture. Just like that. And I want to do the middle too, because you can't have it just in one corner. Now, just like that, not too much. Now, it looks a bit empty on the inside. And I bet you're wondering, you're like, oh, it looks a bit strange, you know. I want to just fill it in. But you don't need to fill it in. As you can see, I'm going to just quickly look here. I'm looking. I can see that the words are the filling of the mountain. Because sometimes when you use words, especially for myself, when I use words that are positive, they give me power. And that's why we keep the words there instead of covering it in black. Because you don't want just a pure black mountain. Now, our mountain looks pretty cool. I, I love it. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to start working on the wind. Now the wind is super pretty. The wind is supposed to represent, let's say, I'm going to take a deep breath, okay? What they say is that when you take a deep breath in, I'm taking all the good energy, and then I'm blowing out the negative energy. Or, in scientific, I'm breathing in oxygen and I'm, and I'm breathing out carbon dioxide. <laughs> but now we're going to create that wind, that that movement of a wind wind but before we start on that we must add some background now i'm going to use a paintbrush that's somewhat wet i'm going to take some light blue um watercolor and i'm going to take a bit just a touch i don't want i don't want it just going off and i just want to gently take it See, look, just super gentle, just like, I'm barely even holding the brush. And I got a little black in there. It's okay. It's just how it's supposed to flow. 
Um, we got that. Now we want to work with our dark blue. And basically what we're going to create is that we're going to create, actually I should show you. I'm going to use the tip of my finger or you can use the tip of your palette knife. I'll show you the tip of my palette knife. And basically what you want to do is that you want to create th this motion. You want to create a kind of like a C, like a, like a comma, just like that. And it's pretty weird that I'm doing it on my hand, but I would rather do it with my finger because it's so much fun when you do it with your finger. Now, here's the important thing. Think of an invisible line, okay? Now, th that invisible line is round right here. See where the, where the blue ends. So that is the only place I could put my blue. I don't want to put my blue up here or in the bottom of my mountain, just where the blue is. So I'm going to create those curves. And if you have too much on your finger, you'll feel it. You just remove some, and you place it somewhere else. There you go. Now what I want to do is that I want to gently blot it because we want it to be super light. So I've got my, pa I've got my um, paper towel and I'm just going to gently pat it. And you want to be very light because you saw I removed most of it. And let's say, oh no, I removed most of the blue. You grab it again and you just got to gently just replace the blue. And then come back and there, super light. So I know it seems weird to, you know, keep that um, horizon line in, but think of it like this, okay? Here's my lungs, see right here, I'm pointing at them and, th and look, my lungs create this line. So as you can see here, look, you're creating that line. It's just supposed to represent how the body is a mountain. The a whole landscape's a mountain. So let's get started on this part. I'm running low on black, so I'll just add a bit more. And I'm gently gonna create these sun rays. Now, as a little kid, you know, you create your little happy sun, you know, oh, look, it's a nice, pretty sun with its, like, lines going in like this. Oh, it's so cute, so cute. It's a nice sunny day. Um, we're actually going to go back to our grade school days, and we're just going to create those suns. But actually, we're not going to create those thick, squarish ones. We're going to create super thin ones. And what these rays are supposed to mean is that it's supposed to represent the movements of Qigong. And I don't know how many movements there are, so I will do, I don't know, as many as I want. It doesn't matter. There, there is no limit. You create how many, how many movements in Qigong there are. You could create the funny ducky walk. That's a, that's a good Qigong move. I love that Qigong. Um, so... I'm going to hold it, not like this, vertical. You know that, guys. And I'm basically just going to remove the excess, and I want to create... Actually, I need that excess. And I want to gently just create the first line. Now that's pretty good. Now I'm done. No, I'm not done. What I have to create now is that I have to now add that line. But when I'm creating the line, it's going to curve with the sun. So it goes here, then it curves more, and it goes here, and it curves, and it curves, and it curves. So that it moves with the chi, with your chi. It moves with the sun. So I'm going to turn it a bit. And I don't want any space between, between them. I don't want no space. So there's going to be absolutely no space. And if you're, ha and let's say, oh, oh no, I left some space. Guess what? Shabam. Just add an extra line. I'm going to turn my book more. And I'm just going to stop here.
I'm going to turn. Going to turn. Just like that. And as you can see, I, I left some spaces there. So what you could do is that you can just add your extra lines in between. There you go. And that is your Qigong Mountain. Now, what I want you guys to take from this, and let me quickly switch back to me. I'm gonna quickly switch back to me. Peekaboo, it's me. Um, what I want you guys to take from this is that I want it, I want you to remember that if you ever are having a stressful time and you don't know what to do or what to calm yourself with, look up online how to do Qigong. Like, it is such a great way of calming your mind. Anyways, thank you guys so much for art from the heart. And I will see you guys next time. Anyways, guys, goodbye. Have a great day.